Hello everyone, I'm Molly from Molly's Home Cooking Channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my method how to knead dough by hand. If you don't have a standing mixer, it doesn't mean you can't make your own bread. Trust me, after you watch this video, all your fear will go away and you will go to your kitchen and start baking your own bread like a pro. First, start making the dough according to your recipe. In a large mixing bowl, mix all the ingredients together. You want to contain all the mess in one bowl. Scrape all excess flour from all sides and bottom. Fold till you get stiff, shaggy dough. Now it's time to work with our hands. From the outer side of the bowl towards the center, we fold and turn the bowl. By folding the dough with our hands, we are combining all the ingredients together and developing the gluten at the same time. We work with one hand doing all the folding and the other hands turning the bowl. Dough is very sticky, falling apart, doesn't hold itself together, unbearable to work with. Gluten is not developed yet. Do not attempt to add more flour. It will result with a heavy, dense bread. Just keep folding. By folding, you start developing the gluten structure. Stretch the dough with one hand and fold and rotate the bowl. Keep stretching and folding for about three minutes. Now that we formed the dough, we need to cover it and let it rest for about 10 minutes. This resting time will allow the flour to absorb into the dough. The gluten will relax and develop and that process called autolyse, which is going to help us during kneading. Dough is flexible, elastic, and also very flavorful. After 10 minutes of resting the dough, it's time to start kneading. Lightly sprinkle some flour on your working area. Gently release the dough from the bowl. By resting the dough, the flour absorbs the liquid and the dough is less sticky, very flexible and much easier to work with. 10 minutes of resting did the trick. Grab the dough with both hands and fold it from the right and from the left sides. Bring it towards you and push. Fold it towards you and push again. Lift the dough in your hands and give it a turn. This is the rock and roll method. Push, fold, and rock. Always make sure to rotate the dough during kneading, that it won't stick to the surface. Another folding method. Push the dough with your body away from you and fold towards you. Hold the dough with two hands and turn it. With one hand support the dough and the other hand doing all the folding. Push it with the heel of your palm and stretch it gently while still holding the dough with your fingers and fold it back towards your body. Push, hold the dough, fold and turn. Kneading the dough is crucial to develop the gluten strands for making bread. Without kneading or under kneading the dough will result with a flat, 
dense, heavy bread. Using a bench scraper is another way of kneading. One hand supporting the dough and with the other hand slide the scraper underneath the dough and fold it on itself. Hold the dough and turn it and fold again. This method is great for a very sticky dough. When the dough stick to the surface, a bench scraper can very handy. Slide the scraper underneath the dough in one motion. Hold the dough with the other hand and flip it. Don't add more flour. Circular motion technique is another way of kneading. Hold the dough with two hands and press it on one side. Stretch and fold it towards your body in a circular motion and repeat. Kneading is a great therapy when it's done with love. It's amazing to feel the dough transform between your hands. Another method is to slam the dough and fold. Hold it again, slam and fold away from you. This is the French fold method. It developed the gluten faster and it's great for sticky dough. You can do it with one hand or two hands, whatever is easier for you. Knead the dough about 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on your kneading skills. You cannot over knead the dough by hand. Now it's time to check if the gluten develop enough. Dust your hands with a little bit of flour. Take a piece of dough and shake it. If the dough holds itself and doesn't torn apart, it means dough is strong and gluten develop. Stretch the dough between your fingers to check the strength and the window pane. If the dough doesn't tear, it doesn't get holes, and you can see light through it, it means the dough is ready for proofing. If you can get to the window test, please don't sweat it. Just make sure that the dough is strong enough by stretching it. If you get holes and it tears, continue kneading for a minute or two, and you're good to go. I hope that you will find this video very useful for you with all of my tips and techniques and use it to your own advantage. Thank you for watching.